Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an African lady. I take one finger at the top in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left I'm going to draw a big curve line down, around, up, and connect. I come over to about this section right here at the bottom and I draw a straight line out on the left come on the right straight line out on the right come back to the left and we're going to draw a big curved line down around up and connect I'm going to come back to the left and I'm going to draw a straight line connect on the left jump over straight line connect on the right I come back to the left and I'm going to draw another straight line all the way across. I come back to the left again and this time I draw a curved line down, around, up, connect. I come up to the very first section on the left and I go up, straight line down, up, down, up, connect jump over now do this side straight line down up down up down it's like a zigzag now I come over to the left and underneath each triangle I draw two straight lines diagonal two straight lines two straight lines leave the center come on the right hand side going this direction now I draw two straight lines two straight lines, two straight lines, diagonals. I come all the way down to this section here and I guess it is a zigzag so I'm going to go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, all the way in the space, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, and now I come in and I do my double lines again. I go one, two straight lines, 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 one, two straight lines. lines. This will make a lot more sense once we color in. Now I go to the left hand side and right about here I'm going to draw a big curve line one, little curve line two, baby curve line three on the left, come straight across on the right, big curve line once, little curve line again, baby curve line at the bottom. Okay. Starting at the top, I'm just going to draw little curved lines on the outside of my line all the way down, connect, come back to the top, draw little curved lines on the outside line, keep going on the right. Come back to the top and now draw little curved lines on the inside of that line all the way down, connect come back to the top draw it again on the inside part of the line come all the way over here on the left and we're going to draw a big curve line curve line over connect on the left big curve line curve line over on the right come on the inside and let's draw another curve line on the left and another curve line on the right. Come back to the left and draw one, two curved lines on the left, one, two curved lines on the right. Come above and we're just going to draw a really big curved line going down on the left and a really big curved line going down on the right. In the middle, 
we're going to draw a straight line, curve line, curve line, curve line, straight line up and stop. And down here, starting on the left, I draw a curve line, little curve line, little curve line, big curve line, up, over, connect. Okay, I think that's all. We're ready to color. Okay, you can use any color combinations you want on her necklace and on her earrings, but the basic part I'm still going to use black for the inside section of her eyes and then I got a light brown for her lips okay and I'm going to use that same light brown for her eyelids and then I come back with my black and I color in her hair all the way up over and down okay then my color combinations whatever I do on the right I do on the left so I did red yellow and orange for her earrings and then I came down and I did different color combinations but I kept my purple as my unifying color so there's purple and then there's purple and what I tried to do was make sure that I had a little bit of purple on the top, on the middle, and on the bottom. So if you use a different color, that's fine, but you want to kind of keep it unified. Then I came back in and I did my top zigzags green. I did my striped little double lines. I did these pink. Like I said, you can do any color combination you want. I did the bottom part of my zigzags down here. I did these pink. And then for a pop of color, I did this green in here. And for my stripes, I came back with my orange all the way across. So you get a very colorful decorative look. Now for her face color I just used my regular brown and I lightly colored all of this whole section of her face. Okay now if you have different color browns you can have a little bit more of a variety on what color you use but if you don't then I would just use your regular brown and you don't want to make it so dark you can't see everything that you just drew but you can get a pretty nice color using that then my final thing that I did was I put her with some wavy 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 turquoise blue green lines all the way across for the background all the way down wavy wavy so this is really kind of a very colorful drawing might be good for black history month okay let's see what she looks like all colored in okay here's my African lady all colored in as you can see she's very colorful okay bye bye